I've been out of town for a few days, but I'm back now. There were several major stories that occurred this week, so today we're going to get caught up on the news, and I'm going to be starting a new segment called Moonshot of the Week. And today, we've got a microcap project that has a major crypto company backing it. Find out what it is and why it has so much potential. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the hardest working channel in cryptocurrency. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and join both my Telegram groups to learn more about crypto or to connect with me and the Bit Squad. All right, guys, today we are going to be looking at several news stories, including a YouTube lawsuit, Visa diving into cryptocurrency, why memes are a good indicator for crypto, and lastly, I'm going to be giving you my moonshot of the week. And this is one you have to see to believe. So, Let's go ahead and get started by looking at the Bitcoin price at the time of this recording. Bitcoin is coming in at about $9,500. We finally saw some good movement over the last few days where Bitcoin has finally broken out of the sideways action trend and seems to be on the way up. The long time sideways action we had made a lot of YouTubers and Bitcoin analysts believe a big drop was on the horizon. But if you've been watching this channel, said the whole time that this sideways movement did not have me worried and I did not see a big downtrend in the price coming. I believe there's a good chance in several months from now that we will look back at the movement earlier this week as the moment the bull run began. There aren't a lot of fireworks at the beginning of Bitcoin's bull run. It's slow, small, and gradual upward movements that eventually go parabolic. But for right now, we're right exactly where we're supposed to be. My advice to all of you is to simply enjoy this ride. Enjoy these small movements while you can before it gets too chaotic. Now, speaking of enjoying the ride, I came across this meme on Reddit. And boy, does it make me bullish. I haven't seen a meme like this in quite a while that people aren't using ironically. The joke in 2017 was that the market moved so much, every time you woke up and checked your phone, the price went up. And every time, you had more money than the last time you checked. Now, this, of course, would make your mind race all night long. You'd be dreaming about altcoins. And I can tell you this firsthand, this was real life. These types of memes infiltrated crypto everywhere. And while people got a laugh out of them, slowly these memes turned into fleeting memories as the bear market winner purged all hope and joy from the market. The fact this meme got 1,489 upvotes on Reddit is a sign to me that the hope and joy is returned to the market. It's extremely exciting to think about where crypto is going to be, and while it may seem silly, I do believe these types of memes are an indicator that the market is on the upswing. It's of course not all sunshines and rainbows, as we'll experience many pullbacks on the market as prices rise. But as long as the overall attitude towards crypto is upbeat, then we have extremely exciting times ahead. Now one thing we all know goes hand in hand with the upward movement of the market is the increase in scams. We are still getting reports that scammers are using YouTube ads to try to scam people out of crypto. These ETH giveaway scams are occurring at the beginning of legit crypto YouTube channels, including my own. Nothing I can do to stop them. One person who's not standing for these scams, though, is one of Apple's co-founders, Steve Wozniak. He's actually suing YouTube right now. He's accusing them of allowing scammers to use his name and likeness in order to trick viewers into sending Bitcoin in hopes of receiving free cryptocurrency. Now, it sounds asinine to me that people can actually fall for this, but we see it every day. Wozniak's specific complaint against YouTube reads as the following. YouTube has featured a steady stream of scam videos and promotions that falsely use images and videos of plaintiff Steve Wozniak and other famous tech entrepreneurs and that have defrauded YouTube users out of millions of dollars. Now, 17 other plaintiffs have actually joined that lawsuit, though none of those names, at least according to my research, have been revealed to the public yet. Now, Steve Wozniak is not the only person to file a suit against YouTube due to these scams. Earlier this year, Ripple Labs, the company behind XRP, filed a similar suit claiming YouTube was allowing scammers to use its name to steal money. Now, interestingly enough, Yesterday, YouTube filed a motion to dismiss the XRP lawsuit, saying they were not liable. And in some ways, 
I actually agree with them. YouTube can't help it if scammers use their platform to steal money from other people. Ripple could file a copyright complaint against the scammers to get the videos taken down. But of course, by the time they actually were to do that, the scammers have already marked their prey and made off with their crypto. But this is where an important distinction must be made between the Ripple lawsuit and Wozniak's lawsuit. In the case of Wozniak, the scammers are using YouTube ads to run their scams. This means that Google must manually approve the ads, and I believe there is quite a bit of negligence here on the part of the Google Ads review team to allow these scams to slide through undetected. So while I could certainly see Ripple's lawsuit getting dismissed, I believe the suit by the man known as the Woz could actually result in damages. But the biggest story of the week, no doubt, has been Visa stepping up to the plate when it comes to cryptocurrency. The beating of the cryptocurrency drums have become so loud that the largest players in the game when it comes to payments can no longer keep their fingers in their ears and pretend crypto doesn't exist. Crypto is coming. Anyone with half a brain can see that, and for those of us with full brains, we've recognized this for years now. Visa, while a little late to the party, issued a huge statement on crypto this week. It read, as a global payments technology company, Visa is focused on delivering the greatest value to people, businesses, and economies everywhere, regardless of currency, channel, or form factor. We're reshaping how money moves across the globe, and that means pursuing a broad array of technologies and partnerships. In that regard, digital currencies offer an exciting avenue for us to continue along with what we do best, expanding our network of networks to support new forms of commerce. That's right, guys. Visa is expanding to support cryptocurrency. In the last two months, we reported a few stories regarding PayPal support of crypto, and now Visa's falling in line. I find this line in Visa's statement also particularly telling. Similar to other digital wallets, digital currency wallets are looking to use the full range of Visa's capabilities, including Visa Direct, which makes it faster and easier for consumers to convert digital currency and push those funds to their Visa credentials in real time. Now, if you're a fan of the Crypto.com Visa debit card, then you're aware that the best way to spend your crypto is to convert it over to USD and move it to your card. So in a roundabout way, we're spending crypto, but it's still USD in reality. With Visa Direct, will we now see a way for you to actually spend your cryptocurrency in real time? It seems like this is what they are saying. Now, if you want to try out a Crypto.com Visa debit card and get 50 bucks for free, just visit mcocard.bitboy.live and use the code BITBOY. But statements like this from Visa really give me confidence that we're about to see a run like never before. This could be the opportunity of a lifetime for those smart enough to take advantage of it. So let's move on to our moonshot of the week. Every Friday, I'm going to be giving you one project that I believe has huge potential. Now, this week's moonshot is relevant. <laughs> no, like, like that's the name. Relevant. Has the ticker symbol R-E-L. Now, this is a teensy weensy baby cap. It's not even on coin market cap yet. You have to head on over to CoinGecko, where it is ranked 1109 at the moment to see it. Now, this coin has a market cap of $263,000, and I got a feeling, after this video, this project is about to shoot up big time. With a cap that small, it won't take much to get it moving, and as you guys can see, it's available on MXE, Uniswap, Who.com, and Balaxi. So let's briefly break down what Relevant is, and then I will get into the huge reason why you're going to want to get in on this one now. Relevant is a social platform and new sharing application. It uses reputation and incentive protocols to promote the curation of quality information. You can kind of think of it as a shield to fake news, which I'm sure you know is a huge problem. But what could be an even bigger problem is the centralized nature of fact-checking. Like, yeah, we really trust a bunch of guys in suits driven by money to tell us whether or not news is real. True decentralized solution would finally bring clarity to what's real and what's not. Relevant is not just an idea, though. It's already live on the iOS and Android app stores. You can download the app already and begin using it. So not only do we have a great use case and an actual product with almost 7,000 users, we also have one of the biggest companies in all of crypto backing this project. That's right, Coinbase Ventures is behind this one. Now let's look at a few projects that Coinbase Ventures has already backed, including 
Compound, BlockFi, CoinMine, Reserve, and many others. Now, this is not a hypothetical partnership. You can visit the Coinbase Ventures page and see Relevant right on its list of projects it supports. On Uniswap, at the time of this recording, the token is coming at about 50 cents each, even though CoinGecko is saying the price is about 90 cents. Now, Relevant wants their coin to appreciate over time, but with a circulating supply a shade over 300,000, now might be your best chance to get in on this. I can say very confidently, that this is a project that will be making big moves in the future. You see, a lot of the low cap gems are biding their time and thinking they have plenty of time to get things perfect and straightened out before really getting their name out there. Too bad for them though, the Bit Squad is about to put the spotlight on them. So buckle in because Relevant is one that's about to launch. But now it's your turn. What do you think was the biggest news of the week that I missed? Do you believe the bull run is officially started or is there more pain and suffering to come? Make sure to drop all your thoughts and comments down below and let me know what you think about Relevant. You should download the app and check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe to become a member of the Bit Squad. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bitboy out.